Hello everyone, this is Meredith from Eat Stretch Explore. Today I have another unboxing video for you. This time it is an advent calendar. And no, it's not one of those luxury advent calendars that you see all the beauty YouTubers unboxing. Um, this is actually from Trader Joe's. Can you believe it? It is their 12 Days of Beauty. I believe this is the second year that they are um, offering this for customers. Um, I tried to get it last year, um, but since I live in New York City, it kind of sold out like really, really quickly. Um, but this year I was actually able to get my hands on it. Um, so if you're interested, it does retail for $19.99 and um, when I went yesterday, so today is Sunday, um, there was only about six or seven calendars left, to be honest, in my um, Trader Joe's. I don't know if they had more stock in the back or anything like that, but it was released this week. Um, I saw it in the haul from Katie Hespy, who is like the Trader Joe's haul queen here on YouTube, and um, I just knew I had to go there right away and pick it up. If you're interested in Trader Joe's snack reviews or food reviews, I tend to do those sort of things over on my Instagram at Eat Stretch Explore, um, but I do sometimes write posts on my um, blog as well, and I will be starting to do some taste tests here on this channel. Um, I have some snacks already available for me, and um, they're kind of seasonal, so I will kind of give you my opinion about those. So if you're interested in watching me open these 12 Days of Beauty, definitely stay tuned because I will do that right now. I'm actually kind of interested to see what will be in here just because um, it says 12 Days of Beauty here. Um, so it, as far as I'm aware, I don't think that Trader Joe's has any makeup per se. They do have body care and skin care and maybe some hair care items. Um, I've tried in the past um, some of their hand creams and body butters. So I'll kind of do a quick story here. Um, so a few years ago, I was shopping at Sephora at like Time Warner Center um, at Columbus Circle. And this older, fancy looking lady came up to me when I was looking at the Los Angeles hand creams. And she was like, oh dear, you don't want to buy them here at this time. Like it'll be so much cheaper. Just go to Trader Joe's around Christmas. Um, so I think it was like around October at that time. And she was like, you will like not regret it at all. So ever since then, I've actually been buying those trio hand creams around Christmas time. So they are available now if you're interested. I should have picked one up yesterday when I was at Trader Joe's, but I just like didn't think about it. Um, but they are great. Um, I put them in like all my pockets and all of my purses and everything like that. Um, so I do stock up around Christmas. So that is a great tip for you if you're interested in hand creams. Um, so I'm actually kind of hoping that there are some hand creams in here because I do remember looking at people's videos from last year. And in those um, videos, they got a lot of hand creams and body creams and that sort of thing. Um, so let me just get into this here. So if you are interested in picking this up, um, but you want to see the ingredients and things and you're in Trader Joe's, I think that there is the listing here on the back. So I actually haven't checked it myself or looked at what's in here because I wanted it to be a surprise, which is like very rare for me. But I just wanted to let you know, just in case you did want to look into the products um, because you have some allergies or sensitivities, that sort of thing. Um, it's definitely on the back. So without further ado, let me get into this. I'll try to keep it in frame, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, so here we'll start with number one. Um, so this is number one here. So let me try to figure out how to open it gracefully. So actually this one is a lot easier to open. So I usually buy my um, calendars at TJ Maxx after Christmas. Um, just because they're like heavily, heavily discounted. And I bought one from, what's it called, Crabtree and Evelyn, and that one was so hard to open. I had to use like a knife or whatever. Um, so this is the first product here, and it is the Toasted Marshmallow Shimmer Body Wash. Um, so this is, looks like it is one fluid ounce. Um, so actually I didn't know that they had seasonal scents. Maybe I just like don't look at the body care products in Trader Joe's that often. Um, so it is quite nice. It does definitely smell like toasted marshmallow. You can totally smell like a vanilla scent and some sweet scent as well. So I just grabbed my towel. So let me just show you what this is. So yeah, it smells really nice. So this bottle is very difficult to squeeze from. If I'm being completely honest, it's a little bit tough. Oh, that was way too much for me to sample. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, so it is kind of shimmery as they mentioned, but it's kind of like um, a clear sort of gel consistency. Um, it does definitely smell like vanilla and um, toasted marshmallow here on my hand. So let me just like wipe it off here on the towel just so we can keep moving along because I don't want to have this go too long. Um, so here we go. This is number two here. Actually, let me put this back in here so I don't forget. So this is number two. Okay, so this is what it is. 
me set it down. So this one looks like it is all for one, formula number three, one for all, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Again, it's one fluid ounce. Um, so I think maybe this might be good if you, if we are actually able to travel this year or before it expires. Um, so it says for hair, massage, and scalp, lather, rinse, repeat, for body using hands, washcloth, or loofah, lather onto skin, and re rinse thoroughly. Um, so it does say it's a conditioner, so I'm not entirely sure. So I don't really do like the whole two-in-one shampoo and conditioner thing, but maybe I'll just give this to my dad because I feel like maybe he might use it. I don't know. Um, but otherwise, it might be good as just a body wash. Um, it does kind of have a cool scent. So again, let me just try to get a very little amount on here. Okay, so this one was definitely easier to squeeze out a little bit amount. Um, so it is clear. Yeah, so as I mentioned, it definitely has like a cool cucumber scent. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone, um, but I do think that it does feel like it might be nice, um, probably as a body wash, if I'm being honest, I probably won't use it on my hair. So let me just put it back in here so I don't get confused. And then number three, three is over here so it looks like it's a little square little box here so this is what it is so it's like a little jar let me pull it out my fingers are too big i think we need like a little kit to help you so pro tip definitely just pour it out into your hand um so this is a coconut body butter again it's one ounce um, so I have tried their body butters in the past. They're quite nice. Um, so let me just open this for you to show you. It does not have a seal. So, um, that might be important to some people. Um, so yeah, it definitely smells like coconut. <laughs> like it smells like coconut cream. Um, so let me just take out the smallest amount. Um, so it is quite thick. So like I was kind of pushing into it and it was very dense, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, it's very creamy here. And it does um, go on really thinly. Yeah, it smells very coconutty, but not like in an artificial way. Um, so I actually quite like that. So that's kind of odd for me because I'm not really a huge fan of coconut scents. Um, so I will definitely be using this because winter is here. My hands are already dying. Um, so as you probably notice in like every video, my hands are very dark compared to the rest of my skin but it's because I never wear mittens so that definitely kills them in the winter uh, so they're always like a lot darker than the rest of my body and also very dry and I will probably be putting this in my um, pockets um, of my coat just because it is a very good sized tub but it's also um, pretty thick so I do like that for winter okay let's see number four there is okay so number four is up here on the corner so let's see, this is what it looks like. So let me pull it open here. Um, so this does look like it's a hand cream or a hand lotion. So this one is the Cherry Blossom Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. So it is, again, I think it's probably one ounce. Oh no, it's half an ounce. Um, so what I mentioned, those three packs that they usually have around Christmas, they are bigger. I think they're probably like one ounce, maybe two ounces. Um, so I do think those are quite nice for purses and pockets, as I mentioned, but this one is definitely more pocket sized. Um, so it does come in like a metal tube here. So let me just open it here. Okay, so this one does not have a seal either. Um, so I don't know if that's an issue for anyone but um the ones i think that come in the trio do have like a little metal seal if my memory serves me right but it's been a year so i don't know it's been a rough year <laughs> so let me show you here so it does come out and it is like a medium thickness um so it says it's cherry blossom but i don't smell a cherry blossom scent so fun fact, I actually don't like cherry blossom, so I was a little bit worried that it was going to smell like the artificial cherry blossom scents, like when you go to Asia during um, April. Sorry, there was a huge black squirrel. He just fell out of a tree. I hope he's okay. Um, so yeah, so when you're in Asia, like around April, March or April, they usually have these limited edition Starbucks drinks and those smell like potpourri, and that's generally what I associate the cherry blossom scent with. Um, but this definitely smells more like a cherry scent, in my opinion. Okay, so I definitely tried to put that back into number one, so let's put this back into number four. Okay, let's see, number five is over here in the rose. Or no, it's not a rose, what is it, a marigold? Um, so this one is, looks like it's another body butter, so hopefully this one will come out a little bit easier. 
Um, so it did come out a little bit easier this time. Um, so this one is a Clementine Body Butter. Again, it's one ounce. This one looks a little bit less full, if I'm being completely honest, than the um, other one over there, the coconut one. This one smells very um, citrusy, and it does smell like clementine, but it smells a little bit more artificial, if I'm being honest with you. Um, so again, yeah, it's very thick. So I don't know if you can see this. Like, I'm pushing on it, and I'm barely making a dent. Um, let me put it on my wrist, I guess, because it hasn't had any sense yet. Yeah, so I mean, it, it smells very citrusy and it goes on really light. I don't know why I showed you that, you couldn't see it. Um, but I think maybe it's more like a, I guess it would be something that I associate more with a grapefruit scent than a clementine scent. It's a little bit less sweet smelling that I associate with a clementine scent. So yeah, I'm very interested in keeping this in my pocket. Okay, so we're moving right along here. That was five, this is six. Up here in the corner, this one is huge. Like, I don't know if you can see how big this is, but this is like the outline of it. So this is a vitamin C peel off face mask. It's glued in here, so hold on, let me set this down. Oh my gosh, this is glued in here so tightly. I don't even know if I can take it out. Okay. Oh, that was so tough. Okay, so that was glued in really tough in there. So this is a face mask, and it is 0 0.5 fluid ounces. So I actually also remember that they do have um, a nice trio of face masks as well. So I think there's one that's like a, a clay mask, one that's a rose mask. That one's not my favorite. Um, and then there's also like a papaya and pineapple mask that one I think is a rinse off one anyway I bought that in the past and I did like it as well so I'm definitely going to be interested in trying out this vitamin c face mask here um but it is coming in a foil packet um the trio that I've tried in the past came in like a tube um which is definitely a lot easier to store in your vanity so I'll try to put this back in here um I hope it didn't like mess up the glue too much oh yeah it's super sticky so here we go um there is number seven here Okay, here is number seven on the bottom. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's a tube, a plastic tube. So this is a gingerbread sugar body scrub, one ounce. So again, I didn't know that they had seasonal scents, but that's quite cute. I don't know if these are like limited only to the calendar or if you can purchase them separately. I didn't see them when I was looking around the body care section. Oh, so actually this was kind of difficult to find. Well, it wasn't really. I was just kind of not looking in the right space. In my store, it was in the end cap where they put all of like the holiday gifts. Um, so I don't know. Like it's very obvious that that's where it should be. But but they had like the cat advent calendar and the dog one, like throughout the store. So I just kind of thought this was going to be like at the cash register. But it was on the end cap with like the um, olive wood bowls, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, here we go. This one has like it looks like a lot of space in it. I don't know if you can see it. So let me open this to see if it has a seal. And it actually does have a seal. I don't know if you can see it. Um, so I will probably use this. Um, so I will open it. So when I smell it, I don't really smell um, like a gingerbread scent, but maybe I need to um, squeeze some out rather than just the air. Um, let me put it on, yeah. Let me put it on this hand. This one hasn't had any attention in a while. Yeah, so it is um, it is a nice sugar scrub, as they said on the packaging, and the granules are pretty fine, actually. They're not, like, really big chunks. Um, I don't know if you've tried a lot of sugar scrubs, but I think this will be nice. Yeah, it doesn't really smell like gingerbread to me as much. It does have, like, a warm, comforting scent, but it kind of smells more like, I guess, maybe it is like a gingerbread scent, but it's like a gingerbread candle, so it doesn't really sound, smell like what I associate with, like, gingerbread cookies. So actually, now that I think about it, it smells more like maybe a brown sugar scrub would smell. Um, I don't really think it smells gingery, if that makes sense. It doesn't really have a molasses smell either. Um, so that's just my two cents. Okay, number eight is this small door up here by number three. So let me try to pull it open here. Okay, so this one is very small. Um, so I don't know if you can see it in here. So this is a rose facial oil and it's 0 0.33 fluid ounces, so around 10 mils. 
Um, so I think it is a facial oil again. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of rose if it wasn't completely obvious. Um, so maybe I will try it and then if I don't, maybe I can find somebody else who likes it. Um, so let me see. I'm trying to, I'm running out of real estate on my hands. Um, so I'll try, try to put it here on the back of my wrist. Um, so it does have a scent like rose. Um, it's very light. I mean, the oil is light. The rose scent is like medium heaviness, if I'm being honest. It does smell very rose-like, but it smells, again, like the Mamond rose toner um, that I've been trying to use up for so long. It kind of smells like that, but um, a little bit lighter, like a little bit more of um, a deeper rose scent. That other one, is the Mamond one that I mentioned, is kind of like a lighter rose, um, so this is kind of heavier. But it's not like dark. It's not like the um, Fabbit Fun Oil Roller that I really don't like um, that my sister is going to try out to see if she likes. Um, so I will probably use this, but um, it probably will be in my travel bag and I probably won't use it like on every day. Okay, so number nine is this big one here on the corner. So this one's a little bit more difficult for me to open. Okay, so this one here, um, I sneaked a peek when I opened it. Um, so it does have a picture of a flower and it is the Trader Joe's Enriched Moisturizing Face Lotion, Broad Spectrum SPF 15, and it does have a flower on it, so I'm a little bit scared. This can smell like rose, and this is expires in September 2022, or this particular tube. So then it says on the back that the active ingredients are octinazate 6.0% and zinc oxide 3.0%. So those sound like they are physical um, sunscreens, but... So it is sealed here and I probably won't be opening this at the moment um, just because I have a lot of moisturizers going on right now. But let me look quickly at the back. I'll try to find it without spoiling anything else. Um, so looking at the um, ingredients on the back, it kind of seems like maybe the flower picture is just for decoration and aesthetics. It doesn't seem to have any sort of scent added. Um, so there's not even like um, fragrance or perfume. Um, and it also doesn't seem to have any essential oils or extracts or anything like that. So this might be actually just unscented. Um, so I will definitely try it out and let you know. So I personally don't use anything that has an SPF 15 that's a little bit too low for me. I try to go like 30 or above. Um, but I will maybe keep this in my pocket again during the summer um, just to keep reapplying onto my hands just so that you don't get even more dark than they are. Okay, so I'll put this back here. So now we have three left. Um, so this is number 10 here in the middle, where it says days. So let me try to open it. This one is very difficult to open. I think it's because of the glossy paint for the letters. Okay, this is what it is. It's a nice purple tube. Um, so this is a blueberry and acai facial scrub. So I'm actually not going to use this because I'm allergic to blueberries. Um, and because I'm allergic to blueberries and it comes with acai often, I kind of associate in my mind that I might be allergic to acai. Um, so this is 0.5 ounces and it says massage onto skin in circular motion during a bath or shower, rinse thoroughly, use three to four times per week. And it does have a safety seal, so I would be able to um, give it to somebody else. Um, so I will see if maybe my mom is interested. She's been trying out some skincare products. Um, and I'm sure that this is probably great if you're not allergic to berries like I am. Okay, moving right along to number 11, which is right here in the corner. So it's like a very wide but yet narrow, so I guess it's not wide, it's probably long, um, box here. So let's see. This one is also hard to get open. So it is here. It's like a tube, a circular kind of cylindrical tube. Um, so this one is actually, oh, it has like a little brown, um, so it has like a little black marks here, but I think it's from the printing process. I don't think it's anything damaged or anything like that. Um, so this is the number one almond cream moisturizing lip balm. So I am very interested in trying this out. Um, so since we've been home all the time since like March, um, I have like used up, I think like eight tubes of lip balm. Um, so usually I like lose them, but I've since I'm like going nowhere, I can definitely use them up all the way to the end. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a normal lip balm. Um, so it doesn't really have a scent or no discernible scent to me. Um, so this says, 
yeah just those used for dry lips um so usually again i use products that have like spf 15 if i'm going out so this might be a good one to just keep by my desk and then the final day here is number 12 so let me open it this one is also hard to get open so i was talking a big talk about these first few getting open very easily but these ones are just hard to get my finger um, under the um, little pull tab so this one is 12 um, so this is like really weird I don't know what it is oh, okay it says sugar cube um, so this one is an exfoliating sugar cube so I probably will not be using this um, just because I don't like things being so scratchy scratchy I also think that sometimes I might be a little bit too vigorous so I probably would damage my skin so I think it's just for me personally not a great idea so this is what it is um, it does kind of have a scent though I don't know if it's just because my hands are filled with all the other scents, but it kind of smells vanilla-y and sweet, so I don't know. Let me look on the back here. Since we are on day 12, I can look. Okay, so it is an exfoliating vanilla sugar cube, so I wasn't completely off with my little sniffer there. Um, so it says don't use it on your face, so keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'm going to use this personally, but it is nice to see in here. Um, so I think personally for number 12, I would want it to be a little bit more fancy just because it's the last day unless unless you're supposed to count down maybe you're supposed to count down let me think what was number one um so number one was that body wash um so i don't know let me know below if you're supposed to count up or count down i counted up just because i'm a little bit slow and i don't want to think about what number was on next um so yeah that was everything in the 12 days of beauty um, so let me just read off the back. So kind of think when you're seeing these um, advent calendars, if you would be actually interested in receiving these items for the amount that you pay. Um, so I mean, sometimes with some of the other ones, I've been tempted by them because the brands are really nice. But when I look at it, I feel like the colors aren't going to be good for me. They're kind of just getting out um, colors that are either the most popular, which doesn't mean it's going to work for me, or else ones that they're trying to clear out. Um, so in the 12 Days of Beauty here, you have the Cherry Blossom Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream, the Toasted Marshmallow Shimmer Body Wash, the Gingerbread Sugar Body Scrub, the Almond Cream Moisturizing Lip Balm, the Clementine Body Butter, the Number 3 Formula Shampoo, Conditioner, and Body Wash, the Coconut Body Butter, the Rose Facial Oil, the Exfoliating Vanilla Sugar Cube, the Peel Off Vitamin C Mask, and the Blueberry Acai Facial Scrub, and the Enriched SPF 15 face lotion um so i mean for me i think for 19.99 i think this was an okay one it's kind of fun to open the little tabs but i don't think if i were to see like a grab bag with all of these items in here i personally don't think i would pay pay 20 dollars for it um but that's just me however like i think it would be nice to try like little samples sometimes of some of these products especially because it is trader joe's and i'm like there every other week um to pick up produce and stuff like that um, so I mean, I'm not going to use the Blueberry and Asahi Facial Scrub, and I probably won't be using that Shampoo Conditioner Body Wash, um, but maybe I'll try it out as a body wash because I'm always like looking for a good body wash. Um, so yeah, let me know below what you thought about this advent calendar and whether or not you think it would be worth $20 for you to pick up. So this is kind of like what I'm going to do, I think, for after Christmas. So again, I shot the after Christmas sales for advent calendars, and I'll kind of go through the things that I pick up. So just leave a comment below if you're interested in this sort of content. Um, feel free to subscribe and that sort of thing as well. And I want to thank you so much for watching and have a great day and enjoy the rest of your week. Goodbye.